All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 73. This one is on factoring the difference of two squares and then prob probability without replacement. Okay, so basically what they're talking about factoring the difference of two squares is this. Um, you're going to get a binomial. Now, you're used to trinomials being like x squared or uh, plus 5x uh, minus uh, 25. You're used to doing trinomials and coming up with the factoring for that. This time you're going to do binomials. And the only reason that they're binomials and you're able to factor them is because they are squares. And what I mean by that is um, square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 16 is 4. These are squares. Um, and so um, let's look at these. Um, in these kind of problems. So, for example, um, they tell me to factor negative 4 plus x squared. Now, um, I'm going to go in and reverse that and make it x squared plus um, a negative 4 just because I like looking at it like that better and I like my negative being on the inside instead of the outside. And you can always move and switch things around um, when you're adding. Okay? Now, um, when we're trying to factor this, um, it makes it easy that we can go x and x because we know that x times x is x squared, okay? But the question is, what times what equals 4? Now, it's a perfect square, so it's going to be 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, in order for us not to have a middle number like a 5x um, or something like that, um, I want you to see what's going to happen. Now, before I show you that, am I going to put a plus or a minus? Well, if I put a minus here and a plus here, let's see what happens. So when I multiply this positive 2 times this negative 2, I get a negative 4. But if I had two negatives, then I would get a positive 4. So both of them cannot be a negative or a plus negative. Um, or minus. It ha one of them has to be a plus and one of them has to be a minus or a negative. Um, okay? So now I want you to watch how this works out. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Two, 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Now what I want you to see is this right here. See how that cancels it out? Negative 2x plus 2x? Because it's perfect square, this ends up canceling out every time. Okay? So when you're working with binomials and you choose a square, 2 times 2 is 4, um, the only thing you ever have to worry about is this negative or the positives. Okay? So the final answer is x squared plus a negative 4. And so when you write that down, it's going to be x plus 2 and x minus 2 or x plus negative 2, however you want to say it. So this is the factored version of this. Okay? Alright, let's look at the next thing. Alright, the next one, okay, stay with me. Um, 49m squared. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. It blacked out and it fell over. So, let's try this again. 49m squared minus a squared. Okay, I'm going to make this um, plus negative, or you can just leave it minus, I don't care. Alright, now, if you want to reverse it, you can, but I want the negative to be in the middle because I don't want it to be in the beginning because um, that kind of messes things up. Um, so let's go ahead and factor this out. It's a binomial, meaning here's a nomial, here's a nomial, and because there's two, it's binomial. Okay, now, um, here we go. What would be the square of 49, the square root of 7 and times 7, right? What is m? Square would be m times m. So 7m times 7m would become 49m squared. You see that? When I multiply these two, it would become 49m squared. Now, we just need to ask ourselves, because this is just a 1, a negative 1, or just negative a, so this can just be a and a because it's a squared. Now, um, because it's a negative, then one of them has to be positive and one has to be negative. So that when we do a times a, we get a negative a. You see that? Okay. So the final answer is this. And you can make this plus negative if you wanted to. But that's the final answer. Okay. That is putting it in 
um, the factor of form. Now you can go in and go this times this, this times this, this times this, and then this times this. But in that middle piece, you're going to get like 1a plus a negative 1a, which cancels them out. Okay? So this is the final answer. All right? Let's look at this next one. And I really want you to pay attention to what I do here. This one says negative 36 a squared plus 25 plus 25 y squared. Now, what I want you to see is I'm going to switch these around because, like I said, I don't like working with the negative number in the beginning. So I'm just going to make it 25y squared plus a negative 36a squared. And now, um, this one's going to be a little bit different because we're going to have two different forms. And what I mean by that is what times what equals 25? 5 times 5. And then y and y. 5y times 5y makes 25y squared. Now we have to do our 36a squared. What equals 36? 6 times 6. Whoops. So we get a 6a and a 6a. Because 6a times 6a equals 36a squared. Now we just have to worry about the negative. So just one of these has to be negative and the other one has to be positive. Why? Because when we multiply 6a times a negative 6a, we get a negative 36. Okay? We wouldn't want this to be positive because that gives us a positive answer and that wouldn't be right. Okay? So final answer would be 5y plus 6a and 5y minus 6a. Alright, last one on this portion of the lesson. And I'm going to go in and swap them. 49a squared plus a negative 36. Pay attention to what I do here. x to the 6th power, y to the 4th power. Now, I did that so I could have the negative number here. Okay, so here we go. What times what equals 49? 7. And then I'm going to put my a, 7a, 7a. That cancels that and does that. But this 36, x, 6, y, 4. These are basically half. One goes on one side, half of it goes on one side, half of it goes on the other. So what's the square of 36? 6 is. So 6, x to the third power, because that's half of them, and y to the second power, because that's half of them. Then we come over here and do 6, x to the third power, y to the second. Okay? 6x3, y2, 6x3, y2. If we were to multiply that, that would be 6 times 6, 36 x3 times x3 would be x6, y2 times y2 would be y4, okay? So we're doing the math right. Now we just have to depend, decide if this is going to be plus or minus. And because this is a negative, we're going to make one of them plus and one of them minus. Because when I multiply the 6 times the negative 6, then I get a negative 36, okay? So this is the final answer, all right? Now, let's move on to the second part of the lesson, which is probability without replacement, okay? What I mean by that is if I take a marble out of the bag and pick, then without replacement means I don't put it back into the bag. If I'm working with cards and I choose a card, then I don't put it back in. That's not replacing. That's without replacement. So, let's do one of these problems. 73.5. An urn contains three black marbles and five white marbles. Now, so right now, what's a total? We have an eight, total of eight marbles. Okay, just writing down key information. They did not actually tell me eight, I just figured that out. Okay? Now listen, a marble is drawn at random and then replaced. Then a second marble is randomly drawn. Okay. A. What is the probability that both marbles are black? So we have two picks. All right. What is the probability that both marbles are pack, pack, um, black? So here we go. We're going to, um, let's do pool number one. I'm pulling something out. Pool number one. I'm going to put eight marbles up here. And pool number two. Okay? Uh, coin toss number one, coin toss number two. 
Um, pick of the card number one, pick of the card number two. Um, roll of the dice number one, roll of the dice number two. So you definitely need to write down um, each of the steps you're taking. So here's what it says. What is the probability that both marbles are black? Okay, now they did replace them. All right, we're going to talk about without replacement in a minute, but first we're going to replace it. All right, so they're going to pull a marble out, and they're going to put it back in, and then they're going to pull a marble out again. Okay, so what are the chances that they're black? Well, I have on my first pull, pill, pull I have a three and eights chance. Why? Because three of them are back, black out of eight. Three of them out of eight are black. So I have a three eight chance of getting it. The marble is put back in. And so I'm trying to get a black again. What are my chances? Three and eight. So I don't know if you remember, you always do pull one times pull two, coin toss one times coin toss two. So every time you do something, you have to multiply it. Okay? So three times three is nine, and eight times eight is 64. And I believe that it cannot be reduced. No. Okay? So what are the probability that you will um, get a, both marbles black? 9 in 64 chance that both of them are going to be black. Okay? All right, let's check out the next question, B. If the first marble is not replaced, meaning they kept it out, before the second marble is drawn, what, what is the probability that both marbles will be black? Again, we're working with black, not white. So the first pool, we have three and eight chances. But if they kept the marble out, I no longer have eight marbles. I now have seven. Okay? So say with me. I have seven chances, seven marbles that I can pull from in my second pool if I didn't um, replace it, if I didn't put it back into the bag. Okay? But let's say, what if one of those marbles that I pulled out from this first pool was black? Now how many black do I have? Two. So, I have a 2 in 7 chance on the second pull. Got it? So, what are my final probabilities that I can get this? 3 times 2 is 6. 8 times 7 is 56. And that will reduce, I think, 1 eighth. Uh, 6, 56, no. Uh, 3 will go into, 2 will go into both of them. Uh, 3, 2, 1, 56, 27, 28, 28. So, final answer. Um, 3 out of 28. So you have 3 out of 28 chances of getting um, both black if you were to keep one of them out. Alright? Now, let's try the next probability. It's our last one. So stay with me. Alright, an urn contains 4 red marbles. 4 red. 7 blue. Okay, so how many total marbles do I have? I have 11 total marbles. All right, so here we go. Um, two marbles are drawn at random. What is the probability that the first one is red? First pool, pool number one, um, and then pool number two. Pool number one, pool number two. Okay, so here's the question. Uh, what is the probability that the first is red and the second is blue? Alright, so what is the probability of having a red one on my first pool? 4 out of 11 total. I have 4 red out of the 11 total, and that's my chances of getting a red. Alright, now it says they want us to replace it. So even if I pull a marble out, I don't keep it out, I put it back in. So that keeps 11 marbles at all times. Okay, so pool one was 4 out of 11. Um, so what is the probability that the first is red and the second is blue? Second chance, I have a 7 out of 11 chance. See that? And what they're wanting us to do with this first problem is to pretend like we do replace it. What's the answer? So, again, you multiply between pools. 4 times 7 is 28. And 11 times 11 is 121. And I don't think that will reduce. No. So I have 28 out of 121 chances of getting a red marble and then a blue marble with my first and second pool. All right, now the second B part of this is what if we don't replace it? After we do this first pool with um, 
of it getting a red marble, what are the chances of getting a blue marble at that point? So, stay with me. Okay? With the first pool, I have, um, what is the chances of getting a red? Well, I have four out of 11 chances of getting a red. Okay? But, this time, I did not replace it. I did not put it back. So, how many do I have? I take away one, now I have 10 total. Okay? Now, um, they want to know what is the probability, uh, yeah, what is the probability that you will draw a blue? Okay? Well, I have a 7 out of 10 chances of pulling a blue. Okay, do you see that? Blue is 7. And then I had to take one away, 10, um, because one of the marbles is missing. So when I multiply that, I get 28 over 110. And I do believe that, that yeah, that um, reduces to 14 over 55. So I have a 14 out of 55 chance of getting a blue, of a red and then a blue, um, without replacing it. Okay? And that is lesson 73.